Okay, so we are going to, I am going to discuss to you about the properties of Laplace transformation. Okay, so first property is the linear property. If A and B are constant, while F of 1 of T and F sub 2 of T are functions where Laplace transformation exists, then the Laplace of A, F sub 1 of T plus B, F sub 2 of T is equal to a, the Laplace of F sub 1 of T, plus B, the Laplace of F sub 2 of T. So, parang in-isolate mo lang yung constant niya and then separately get the, the, the Laplace transform of each function. So, let's try example number 1. We have F of T is equal to 2T plus 3. Okay, so, let's try to solve this one. So, example number 1. We have F of T is equal to 2t plus 3. Okay, so meron akong binigay sa inyo na uh, list or table of Laplace transforms. You can use that para hindi na natin gawin yung long method. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito is separately um, get the Laplace transform of each function. So the Laplace of of 2t plus the Laplace of 3. Okay? So, ayan. Since may constant tayo dito, i-isolate natin siya and then get the Laplace transform of the function. So, this is t and then plus the Laplace of 3. Okay? So, to what is the Laplace of t according to the la table of Laplace transforms? So, the Laplace of t is equal to t raised to n, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on, is equal to n factorial over s raised to n plus 1. So, ang t natin dito is 1. So, I, I'm, I'm sorry, um, yung exponent natin dito is 1. Okay, so meron tayong exponent na 1 dyan na invisible. Okay. Okay, so meron tayong 1. Meron tayong invisible na 1 dyan. So, the Laplace transform of t raised to 1 is equal to n natin is 1. So, n is equal to 1. So, 2 times since n is 1, 1 raised, 1 factorial over s raised to 1 plus 1. So, ayan. And then plus, Laplace of a constant, 1 ito. Okay, so kung ano man yung value ng uh, constant na yan, iyon yung ilalagay natin sa denominator natin, which is the Laplace of 3 is 3 over s. And then we simplify further, this will become 2. What is the Laplace of 1? The Laplace of 1 is, is still 1. Okay. I Laplace of 1, 1 factorial. What is 1 factorial? That is 1. Over S is squared. And then plus 3 over S. And then simplifying further, we have 2 over S is squared plus 3 over S. Okay. So, um, we can have this as our final answer for example number 1. If you want to simplify further, pwede naman. So, this will be equal to, LCD niya is S squared. So, this will become 2 plus 3S. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging final answer nyo pag sinimplify nyo pa. So, that is a linear property of Laplace transformation. So, let's have the second property, which is the first shifting property. If the Laplace of t is equal to f of s, when s is greater than a, then the Laplace of e raised to a t, f of t is equal to f, f of s minus a. That is the substitution of s minus a for s. Take note, ha? substitution of s of a for 
S with the transform corresponds to the multiplication of the original function by E raised to A T. So to understand further, uh, let's try example number one of the first shifting property. So we have example let number one. F of T is equal to E raised to negative 3T cosine 5t. Okay, so from the table, um, kunin natin yung cosine, uh, Laplace transform ng cosine 5t. So, this will be the Laplace transform of cosine 5t is equal to, okay, hanapin natin yung Laplace transform of cosine 8t. Cosine 8t is equal to s over s squared plus a squared. So, yung a natin dito will be at a equal to 5. Ito siya. So, this will be equal to s over s squared plus 5 squared. So, this is equal to s over s squared plus 25. Okay? So, from there, ito ngayon yung uh, Laplace transform ng cosine 5t natin. So, sabi dito sa ano, uh, substitution of s minus a for s with the transform corresponds to the multiplication of the original function e raised to 80. So, yung e raised to 80 natin is the e raised to negative 3 so, kunin natin yung Laplace transform ng e raised to negative 3t. So, the Laplace of e raised to negative 3t at a equals 3. a is equal to negative 3. We have this formula sa table of Laplace transforms natin. e raised to 80 is equal to 1 over s minus a. But since... Uh, negative 3 ngayon yung a natin. So, this will be equal to 1 over s minus what is a? That is negative 3. So, this is equal to 1 over s plus 3. But, this is not yet our final answer. Diba? Sabi dito sa uh, definition natin is the substitution of s minus a for s. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, since meron tayong ay yung nakuha natin dito is S plus 3. So, yung S plus 3 na to, nagaling sa uh, Laplace transform ng E raised to negative 3T, substitute natin dito sa lahat ng S sa, sa Laplace transform ng cosine 5T natin. So, let us substitute. Substitute S plus 3 to S. Okay. So, our answer would look like from yan, S over S squared plus 25 magiging lahat ng S palitan natin ng S plus 3. So, this will be equal to S plus 3 over S plus 3 quantity squared plus 25. So, ito na ngayon yung uh, Laplace transform ng e raised to negative 3t cosine 5t natin. Okay, so to recall kung ano yung first shifting property, ang gagawin mo is to get the Laplace transform of this function and then uh, kunin mo yung Laplace transform ng exponential function na to. And then, whatever uh, yung answer mo dito, yun yung isa-substitute mo sa mga S. Okay? So, let's try another example. Let's try example number 2. Example number 2 is 2e raised to negative 70 minus t e raised to negative 7t. Okay, so sulat muna natin. This is 2 e raised to negative 70 minus t e raised to negative 7t. So, ito, this is linear. This is linear. 
and this is the first shifting. Okay. So, Laplace of 2 e raised to negative 70, ito mo na yung kunin natin, is equal to, isolate natin si constant, and then get the Laplace of e raised to negative 70, since linear lang naman siya. So, this will be equal to 2, and then the Laplace of e raised to negative 70, where a is equal to negative 7. So, this is equal to 1 over s minus negative 7. And the sim simplifying further, we have 2 over s plus 7. So, ito ngayon yung um, Laplace transform ng first term natin dito. Now, uh, for our second term, this is first shifting. So, gagawin natin ulit yung ginawa natin sa number 1. So, sulat natin dito, the Laplace of negative t e raised to negative 7 t. Okay? So, ang ilaplas muna natin is si negative t. So, the Laplace of negative t is equal to, meron tayong negative dito, so, this will be, Okay, so since 1 lang naman yung n natin, n, n is equal to 1. So this will be equal to negative 1 factorial over s raised to 1 plus 1. So this will be equal to negative 1 over s squared. So that is the Laplace transform of negative t. Now we get the Laplace transform of e raised to negative 7t. This is equal to at a equal to negative 3. So, this will be equal to 1 over s minus negative, negative 7 pala. a is equal to negative 7. So, minus 7. This will be equal to 1 over s plus 7. So, dito, lahat ng s palitan natin ng s plus 7. So, the Laplace of negative t e raised to negative 7 t is equal to negative 1 over s plus 7 quantity squared. So, for our final answer, magiging 2 over s plus 7 minus 1 over s plus 7 quantity squared. And simplifying, this will be uh, s plus 7 squared is equal to 2 times s plus 7 minus 1. Simplifying further, we have s plus 7 squared is equal to 2s. Distribute natin si 2 dito sa binomial. Plus 14 minus 1. And then 2s plus 13 over s plus 7 squared. So, this is our final answer for example, number 2 in first shift, first shifting property. Okay? So, let's try example number 3. We have f of t is equal to e raised to 2t cosine 5t minus 3t cubed. Okay, so let's have example number 3. We have f of t is equal to e raised to 2t cosine 5t minus 3t cubed. Okay, so uh, separately muna natin siyang i-kunin uh, yung Laplace transform. So ito muna. So the Laplace of e raised to 2t cosine 5t. Ayan. So, gagawin natin dito, this is first shift, first shifting property. So, una muna natin na uh, kunin is yung cosine 5t. So, the Laplace of cosine 5t a is equal to 5. This is equal to s over s squared plus 20, 
25. 5 squared. So, from there, kunin ulit natin yung Laplace of e raised to 2t. So, the Laplace of e raised to 2t is equal to at a equal to 2. So, this is equal to 1 over s minus 2. So, lahat ng s dito, palitan natin ng s minus, minus 2. So, this will be equal to s minus 2 over s minus 2 quantity squared plus 25. So, that is our first term. Now, ito naman, si negative 3t cube. So, the Laplace of negative 3t cube. Ayan. So, pwede natin i-isolate to since constant siya. So, negative 3, the plus of t cube. So, this is a linear property ulit. So, the plus of 3 t cube at n equal to 3 since yung exponent niya is 3. So, this is equal to negative 3 times uh, 3 factorial, 3 factorial over s raised to 3 plus 1. So, this is equal to, this is equal to 3 times 3 factorial is 6 over s raised to 4. And then, simplifying further, this is 18 raised over s raised to 4. So, pagsamahin na natin, this will be equal to, uh, this one, s minus 2 over S minus 2 quantity squared plus 25. Meron palang negative dito. Since negative yung 3 natin. Okay. Minus 18 over S raised to 4. So, this is not yet our final answer kasi hindi pa siya nakasimplify. So, isimplify muna natin siya. This will be equal to, this part, isimplify natin siya. This is um, S squared minus 4s plus 4 and then plus 25 tapos s minus 2 tapos 18 minus s raised to 4 so this is equal to s squared minus 4s and then 4 plus 25 that is positive 29 and then kopyahin natin si numerator as well as the second term. Okay. So, from here, pwede na tayong mag-LCD. So, this will be S squared minus 4S plus 29 times S raised to 4. And then, uh, this one divided by this one, that is S minus 2 times S raised to 4. And then, minus 18, tapos this one divided by this one, that is, ito, multiplied by s squared minus 4s plus 29. So, mag-simplify ulit tayo. Uh, in simplifying further, our final answer would look like s raised to 5 minus 2s raised to 4 minus 18s squared plus 72s minus 522 over, that is, s raised to 6 minus 4s raised to 5 plus 29s raised to 4. So, this is our final answer for example number 3 in first shifting property of Laplace transformation.